Hello everyone, this is Mike, and in this video we're going to decode some ACARS data. ACARS is a transmission that's done in the 129 through 132 megahertz range, AM, uh, 8K wide. It's a digital transmission that's from ground stations and, and aircraft, uh, bi-directional. Uh, they're basically short messages, but sometimes there's some really good information in those messages. Uh, to follow along, you can go into strplay.com, click on downloads, and go to the how-to guides. And the first one here is eight cars using SDR Uno Multi PSK. You can click on it and open it. I zoom in a little bit, and I give you a quick breakdown of what it is and how to set it up. You're going to need VB cable or virtual audio cable, and VB cable is free. Virtual audio cable is not, and the same goes with Multi PSK. Some of the modes are are timed for the free version, meaning that if you if you go over a certain time uh, limit, it's going to stop that mode from working. I don't recall what modes are restricted in the free version. Uh, the paid version uh, unlocks everything. All right, so let's start SDR Uno. I already uh, had this set up from previous, so we have separation between our tuner and our LL. We're on AM, uh, AK, and let's see. Alright, right there is a eight cars burst. And we'll zoom in on it. Now they're not constant, they're not timed, it's just when there's a message it will transmit and when there's uh, either from the ground or from the aircraft. So it's, it's very random. By a little bit. I didn't calibrate the RSP. But we'll get it right in the center. The carrier right in the center of zero. So that should be good. Right, let's make this small. And in multi PSK, let's uh. Let's mute this for one second. In multi PSK, you want to select a cars, which is here. Uh, what type of speed you want it to be? Uh, what what speed you want shown on the screen when those messages do come up, depending on your region. And we can uh, unmute it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so that first message gave us an identifier here, which is the aircraft. So we can take that, copy it, and let's put that into FlightAware. And let's see what that plane is. And just paste that right in. And the details are here. So I'm located right about here, and that plane is, looks like it's going into Connecticut. And it's giving me the information. And let's continue. Let's see what else we get. And there's another one. Let's see what that is. Right, and another feature in uh, multi PSK is to be able to show this information on a map. Let's click on. Uh, Position on the world, and that's going to give you a rough, rough-looking map. And then you can select on local map. Now, in this section, you want to click on maps, and depending on your region, uh, is what will be shown. So I'm going to select North America and close with storage. Let me make this a little bit bigger, and let's see if anything pops up on the map. Now, it's not always going to transmit the information on the map. But you can always just find, uh, find the identifier here and, and put that into flightaware.com. Okay, 
that's interesting. Let's clear this, let's make this bigger. Failed wiring. Now let's see where that flight is. Want to grab it before the next burst comes. Stop that, and we'll find that message. I believe it was this one. So we'll copy that, and we'll put that into Flight Aware. And let's see if we can uh, get any more information about that flight, if any other messages go out. As you can see, there's a lot of different things uh, being transmitted. I don't know what all the uh, different things are, but the things that I look for are the, the messages that the pilots can uh, type in and send to ground station and, uh, and inform the airport if there's any issues. those little uh, blurbs popping up. It's very, very quick transmission. That's basically it for uh, decoding ACARS using the RSP-1 and SDR-1 and multi-PSK. Uh, uh, actually, I enjoy decoding this mode. It's a lot of fun. A lot of weird things pop up on the decode. All different types of strange messages. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and I appreciate everybody watching. Any questions, just leave them in the comment, and I'll have another video out in a couple days. Thank you very much.